everyone. Happy Saturday. How are you guys today? Hello. Okay, let me just see. Hi everyone. Welcome to Vinyasa One class. Hello, Li Ping from Hong Kong. I'll see you again. Nice to see you again. Hi, Joanne. Good to see you. Hi, Steph. Good to see you. Hi, are you? Are you here to practice as well? Nice. Perhaps if you are coming from all parts of the country, let me know where you are from. Let's engage a little bit. I'm so excited that you know the whole world kind of come together to practice, not just Singapore. I see friends from Hong Kong, Masako from Tokyo. Hi Darren, nice to see you. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi everyone, good to see all of you. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're all good and well. Hi Joyce, hello. Hi Winsa. Nice to see all of you. Okay, I see some of you guys from the gym here as well. Don't just watch the video, let's practice all together, all right? So for Vinyasa 1 class, um, oh, hello, hello from Taiwan. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Namaste, everyone. Good to see you. All right, so Vinyasa 1 practice, um, if you have done the last few weekends before, basically we flow with the breath, all right? So one movement, one breath, but having said that, for some of the poses, we might, uh, we might kind of hold slightly longer. So it's ideal if you have a few, at least a few Hatha classes practice, so you kind of get used to the pose before you come to this class. But otherwise, always listen to my cues to get into the pose, all right? So for Vinasa class, same as all the other yoga classes, learn to work with the breath. No breath, no life, no yoga. So work with the breath. Any point in time if you need, you can always find a child's pose, Shavasana, sit down or lie down. So listen to the body, do what you can. Challenge yourself if you like. So for some of you have kind of requested for today, we'll work a little bit on the hips. So for hips opening and all. So let's see what we can work with. We have some funky poses today, so let's see what we can work with. So open up the body, working focused, uh, with a focus on the hips. All right, so without further ado, let's begin the class. Find a comfortable seat on the mat. Now if you have high hamstrings, Make sure you prepare a block with you, otherwise a water bottle will do as well. Cross the legs, place the hands on the knees. Now sitting up nice and tall, lifting from the chest, rolling the shoulders back and down, and gently close your eyes. Finding a moment of stillness on the mat. Focus your breath, deep breath in and out through the nose. With each inhalation, lengthen from the base of the spine, lifting from the chest to sit up taller. With the exhalation, soften the body, completely relax. Allow the shoulders to gently descend away from the ears. Breath in and out through the nose. With the inhalation, fill up the belly, fill up the lungs. With the exhalation, completely exhale. Expelling out all the still air. As you start to walk inwards, deepen the breath, breathing deeply all the way down into the sit bone. With the exhalation, again, expel out all the still air. Clearing your mind. Starting to work inwards, clearing your mind of your week, your thoughts, your morning. Cultivating that sense of peace and quietness before we begin. Now the first week we focus on creating space. Last week we focus on connection. And this week, let's work towards giving. Perhaps think about someone or something 
that you'd like to give to? Think about something intangible, perhaps giving your time, your love, your energy to somebody or something. And keep that in mind. We'll set our intention in mind with that. Start to turn on your dry breath, constrict the back of the throat. Hearing your breath, in your dry breath more clearly, sounding like ocean waves. And let this breath guide you through the practice. Keeping your eyes closed, join your palms together, thumbs to the heart center. And gently bow forward, blink your eyes open. Namaste everyone, enjoy your practice. Now let's come straight to downward facing dog. So spread the fingers out wide, push the top of the mat away from you, lift the hips up high, ground the heels down. Now finding stillness in a downward facing dog, we'll stretch together, spread the fingers out wide, and next fingers point me to the front. Now push the top of the mat away from you, bring the belly closer to the thighs, standing the hips high up to the ceiling. Accidentally rotate the forearms, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Now notice how the hamstrings are feeling. Ground the heels down, inner rotate the thighs, stretch it out. If the hamstrings are still tight, keeping the knees soft. Stay here together, take one deep breath of your push into the palms. Ground the heels down, hips up high with your exhale. Now feet together, heels up high, inhale. As you exhale, bend the right knee, ground the left heel down, feel the left hamstring stretch. Inhale to straighten the left leg, bend the left knee, sorry, straighten the right leg, ground the right heel down, feel the right hand straight stretch. Now switch, bend the right knee, ground the left heel down, keep pushing the top of the mat away from you. Switch, bend the left knee, ground the right heel down. One more time, switch, bend the right knee, ground the left heel down. Last one, the switch. Now back to the center, heels up high heel. This time bend the knees, belly to the thighs. Push the top of the mat away from you, bring the belly closer to the thighs, forehead closer to the mat. Give the back a good stretch. See if you can touch your forehead down, hold it here. One more deep breath. Now look forward, plank as you inhale, shift away forward, stack shoulders on top of the wrist. Now squeeze the kneecap nice and tight. Make sure the hips are in line with the shoulders. Now protract the shoulders, push into the palms, round the back slightly. Draw the belly in, hold it here. One deep breath, heel. Now exhale, lower the knees down. Chest down, chin down towards the mat. Eight point pose, knees, chest, chin. Untuck the toes, glide forward to your baby cobra, keeping the elbows back, roll the shoulders back, gaze up to the ceiling. Sit back to your child's pose, as you exhale, hips to the heels, stretch your arms forward, deep breath in. Full breath out. Come to the finger pads, look forward, inhale. Now walk the hands over towards the right side, exhale to fall over the right thigh. Stretching out the left side body, sitting hips back and down. Call the finger pads for more, especially the left finger pads. Feel the left side body stretch. One more deep breath, hold it here. Head up, walk the finger pads over to the left. Exhale to fall over the left thigh. Lower the forehead down. Now stretch the right side body. Sit the hips down towards the heels. Crawl the right finger pads for more. Feel the right side body stretch further. Start to open up the side body. One more deep breath. Back to the center and heel. Lower the head down towards the mat as you exhale. Now interlace the fingers behind the back. Squeeze the base of the palms together. Stretch the knuckles up. Move the hands side to side, side to side. Broaden the chest and the collarbone as you squeeze in the shoulder blades. Sit in the hips back and down, pause in the center, move the hands back and forth, back and forth. Now stretch and hold, bring the knuckles up to the ceiling. See if you can squeeze the palms together, straighten the arms. Move the hands away from the lower back, sit the hips down low. One more deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, release the hands down to mat. Straighten the palms forward. Now look forward as low as you can. Glide forward to your full cobra. Slide forward. Straighten the arms. Roll the shoulders back. Gaze up to the ceiling. Tuck the toes. Exhale the press back. Down with facing dog. Take one breath in. Full breath out. Now feet together. Heels up high. Heel. Bend knees. Exhale. Belly to the thighs. 
Now keeping the knees bent, keep pushing the top of the mat away from you. Keeping like this, open the knees out to the side. Now push into the mat, bring the belly between the thighs. Maybe touching the forehead down, feel the inner thigh stretch. Hold it here, one more deep breath. Knees together, straighten the legs, keep the heels up high, look forward, plank or shift the weight forward. Hold it here, push in the palms, deep breath heel. Exhale, drop the heels over to the right side, side plank. Stretch left and up. Now if you need to modify, lower the right knee down. Or step the left foot in front of the right knee. Push down, lift the hips up high. Then sweep the left bicep high. Feel the left side body stretch, five the obliques. One more deep breath and heel. Hands down, plank as exhale. Deep breath and plank, heel. Now drop the heels to the left, stretch right hand up, side plank. You know your modification, you can lower the left knee down or step the right foot forward. Otherwise, stack the feet, then sweep the right bicep by the heel, heel the right side body stretch. Push down to left hand. One more deep breath, heel. Hands down, to plank as exhale. Deep breath in the plank, inhale. Now hold it here or one chaturanga as exhale. Push up to high plank, inhale. Now this time exhale to your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga or knee chest chin. Inhale to up double cobra. Exhale, press back. Down with facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Now feet together, heels up high, stretch your right leg up, three leg up. Hold the right toes up to the ceiling, keep it up high, stretch it up, stretch it up, deep breath and heel. Knee to the right wrist, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch the right wrist. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the right elbow, exhale to touch. Inhale, kick the right leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the right tricep, touch and hold, pull it up high. Now step right foot outside, right hand, stretch right hand up to the ceiling, open the chest, reach up, lean back as you exhale. Now keep the back leg straight. Now keeping all of this, bend your right elbow, place your hand behind the head. Keep shining the chest up to the ceiling as you lean back and heel. Exhale, twist, touch your right elbow to the left wrist. So it's like a crunch. Diagonally, touch your right elbow to the left wrist. Inhale, open the chest, reach up, lean back, shine the heart. Exhale, the twist, right elbow, touch the left wrist, keep the back leg strong. One more time, inhale. Open the chest, reach up, lean back, shine the heart up. Exhale, touch right elbow to left wrist, hold it here. Now you can soften the left elbow so the right elbow can touch the left wrist. Keep the back leg straight, hold it here. One more deep breath. Now inhale, stretch your right hand up, open the chest, reach up, lean back, shine the heart. Now stay here, keep the back leg strong. Right hand placed on top of the right knee, push the right knee away from you. Come to the outer edge of the right foot, maybe float the, the inner arch off the mat. Sink the hips down low, but keep the back knee off the mat. Keep the left heel off the mat. Open the hips. Chest open, shoulders away from the ears, neck low. One more deep breath. Hands down, now keep the right leg up. Bend knees, open the hips as exhale. Stay here, ground the left heel down. Level the shoulders by pressing the right arm and down. Squeeze the left right heel to the left butt cheek, then open the right knee up high. One more deep breath. Straighten the right leg inhale, down with facing dog as you exhale. Plank, inhale, shift the weight forward. Now hold your plank or one chaturanga as you exhale. Push up the high plank inhale, your choice vinyasa, chaturanga or knee chest chin. Inhale to your up double cobra. Exhale, press back. Down, both facing up, one breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, left leg up, three leg up, stretch it up high. Hold the left toes up to the ceiling, reach, up, reach it up high, one breath in heel. Knee to the left wrist, exhale to touch. Inhale, keep the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to left elbow, exhale to touch. Inhale, keep the left leg up, three leg up. Knee to the left, tricep, touch and hold, hold it there, shift the weight forward. Then step left foot outside the left hand, stretch left hand up to the sling, open the chest, reach up, lean back. Now keep the right leg straight, right heel stacks on top of the right toes. Keeping all of this, bend left elbow, place your hand behind it. Look up to the sling, lean back and heel. 
Exhale, twist, let the crunch diagonally touch your left elbow to the right wrist. Inhale, open the chest, reach up, shine hard, look up. Exhale to twist, left elbow to right wrist. One more time, inhale, open, reach up, lean back. Exhale to twist, left elbow, touch your right wrist, hold it there, keep the back leg strong. Hold it, three, two, one. Inhale, stretch your left and up in a sling, open the chest, reach up, lean back. Keeping all of this, keep the chest shining up. Left hand placed on top of the left knee, push the knee away from you. Sling the hips down low, come to the outer edge of the left foot. Start to feel the hips staying the thighs open, keep the back leg strong, chest lifted. Shoulders away from the ears. One more deep breath. Now ground the left foot down, palms down, keep the left leg up, three legged dog and heel. Bend the knees, open the hips as you exhale. Press the right heel down. Now level the shoulders, press the left arm bit down. Open the left knee up higher, one more deep breath. Straighten the left leg, inhale, down, with facing dog, as exhale. Plank, inhale, shift the weight forward. Stay here, or one chaturanga, exhale. Push up, high plank, inhale. Your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga, or nishashin, exhale. Inhale to up, double cobra. Exhale, press back, down, with facing dog, one breath in. Full breath up. Now look forward, soft on the knees, heels up high. Step or hop forward, come to the top of the mat. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, palm stretch. Lean back, arch back into your gentle back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold over the thighs, Uttanasana. Inhale to rise, palms touch, lean back, arch back, deep in the back bend, chest up, hips forward. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half the lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold, one more round. Inhale to rise, palms touch, so you can deepen the back bend, chest up, hips forward, arms straight back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift and heel. Grab your ankles from the side. Exhale to fold. Now stay in your forward fold. I'm coming over to check on you. Alright. So grab your ankles from the side. Open the elbows out to the side. Fold forward. Allow the neck and the shoulders to relax. Hold it to the ankles. Bring the belly closer to the thighs. Notice how the hamstrings are feeling. If they are more open, squeeze the top of the kneecap tight. Push the thighs back. Stand the hips up high. Straight the legs, hamstring stretch further, roll the weight to the toes for last three, two, and one. Gently release the hands down, inhale to rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back into your back bend, hands in front of the chest, samasiddhi. Now close your eyes, catch your breath. If you would like to set an intention, we turn back to the intention, the theme that we had earlier, something to give away to. Perhaps to someone or something using the intention to guide you through the rest of the practice. With the intention set, blink your eyes open, send it all the way up to the sky, and here reach up, lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana to your forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale, the fold, step right leg back. Lower the right knee down, low lunge, arm changes now, stretch your arms up in here, reach up, lean back as I exhale. So you can move the arms behind the ears, keep the arms straight. Bend the left knee, sling the hips down low, chest up, one more deep breath in here. Hands down, hold the breath, step back to your plank pose. Option to hold your plank or one chaturanga as I exhale. Push up the high plank with heel. Now your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga or nishashin. Inhale to up double cobra. Exhale, press back, down, with facing dog, one breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, running up, three legged dog and heel. Knee to the nose as you exhale, shift the leg forward to touch, hold it, three, two, one. Step right foot forward, left knee down, low lunge, arm genius, now stretch your arms up and heel, reach up, lean back, exhale. Allow the pose to sit into you by bending the right knee. 
chest up high, arms straight back, one more deep breath, heel, hands down, exhale, step the left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale to rise, arms stretch, lean back, arch bend to your back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale the fold. Now step your left leg back, lower the left knee down. Anjaniasana, stretch your arms up and heel. Now stay here, look forward. As you exhale, twist to your left side, right hand forward, left hand back. Reverse left hand to the back leg, sweep right bicep, bind here, lean back, arch back, stretch back. Now stay here. Bend the right knee, sink the hips down low. Stretch right hand back. Pull the left fingertips down, closer towards the left ankle. Finding lightness in the left fingertips. Try not to dump the weight there. Chest lift, one more deep breath. As you exhale, place right hand inside the right foot. Sweep the left bicep by the ear. Roll the left shoulder back. Spin the left rib cage up to the ceiling. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Back heel, low lunge. Look forward. Inhale to stretch your arms up. Now grab the elbows each other. Push your head into the forearms if you can. Lean back, arch back. If you can go further, pull the fingers down towards the shoulders. Keeping the chest up. Squeeze into the shoulder blades. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Inhale. As you exhale, hands down. Now keep the right leg up to the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Stretch it up high. Deep breath. Inhale. Knee to the right tricep. Exhale. Pull it up. Touch the right tricep. Inhale. Keep the right leg up to three-legged dog. Knee to the nose. Exhale. Shift the weight forward to touch. Inhale. Keep the right leg up. Three-legged dog. Knee to the left, tricep to touch and hold it there. Now straighten the right leg up to the left. Spin the inner left foot down, stretch the left hand up, reverse side plank. A fallen triangle, so what you call it. Sweep the left bicep up here, push down the right hand. Now make, make this a slight back bend, chest lift, lean back. One more deep breath, heel. Hands down, kick the right leg up. Bend the knees, open the hips as I exhale. Straighten the left leg, inhale. Down, one facing dog. Exhale. If you're tired, you can stay here. Otherwise, plank, inhale. Option to hold your plank or one chaturanga as you exhale. Push up the high plank, inhale. Your choice, vinyasa, chaturanga, or chest chin. Inhale to up double cobra. Exhale, press back. Down, one facing dog. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high. Right leg up, three legged dog, hands in heel. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch your nose. Circle the knee, open hips, as in heel. Knee to the nose, touch and hold for three, shift the weight forward, two, one. Now press the lunge, step right foot forward, in heel to rise. Now you press the lunge, keep the back leg straight, squeeze left knee, keep touch, keep the heel up high. Bend right knee, right thigh, bicep parallel to the floor, stretching the arms up high. If you have more belly, half the rotation, tuck the tailbone under, chest up and heel, lean back, arch back as you exhale, open the chest, join the heart. See so if you can move the arms behind the ears. One more deep breath, heel. As you exhale, lean forward halfway into your resting warrior. Belly away from the right thigh, bicep by the ears. So if I look at you, I should not be able to see your ears. One more deep breath. Now shift the weight towards the right leg. Slowly, pull the left leg up, find your warrior three. So keep the left leg up high, square the upper left leg down, stretch your arms forward, hold it here. Now bring your palms to the heart center, bend the left knee, stand all the way up. So if you look at me from the front, you'll look, I'll look like this. Bend the left knee to the chest. Now keeping this, open the left knee out to the side. So you can bring the left knee higher up towards the left shoulder, hold it here, three, two, one, step the feet together, reach your arms up as inhale, exhale, bow the way, all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel, exhale, go, now step a hop back to your Chaturanga, or the Shashin. Inhale to up double cobra, option to stay here, or back to Chaturanga, or the Shashin. Push up high plank and heel, everyone press back. Down, word facing up, catch your breath, one breath in, full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, 
Right leg up, three legged dog as in heel. Now knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight over to touch. Circle the knee, open hips as in heel. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch. Option to hold the heel of three legged chaturanga, straighten the right leg, bend the elbows down, heel. Knee to the nose to touch and hold for three. Shift the weight over, two. One, press and lunge, step right foot forward. Inhale to rise. Bend the right knee, sit down low with the exhale. Square the hips, pull the right hip back. Now three times, straighten the right leg, inhale. Bend the right knee as the exhale, press and lunge. Inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend. One more time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend and hold now. Freeze the right leg, deep breath, inhale. As I exhale, only lower the left knee one inch of the mat. Now, right leg stay. As you inhale, straighten only the back leg. Exhale, bend the left knee. One more time, inhale to straighten. Exhale, now bend and hold it there. Slowly, float the right heel of the mat, front the right foot of the mat, then bend one knee, sling hips down low. Legs shaking here, so good for the thighs. Stretch out, inhale, lean back, exhale. Not too long, open the chest. One more deep breath. Now press and lunge as you inhale. Lean forward halfway, resting warrior as you exhale. Palms to the heart center, inhale. Twist to your right. Hook your left elbow out to the right thigh. High lunge twist. Bring the thumbs to the heart center. Roll the right shoulder back. Hold it here. One more deep breath, heel. Keep the twist, look down. Step left foot forward, chair twist. Both knees in one line, sit the hips down low. Then roll the right shoulder back, bring the thumb to the heart center, lifting the chest, neck long. One more deep breath, sit down lower. Chair pose, Utkatasana, as in heel. Exhale, bow forward to Uttanasana, fold fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale, fold, now step a hop back. Chaturanga, only chin, your choice. Inhale to up double cobra, option to pause here, or go back to Chaturanga, only chin. Push up high plank and heel. Press back, down, with facing down. One breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high. Right leg up, three legged dog, as inhale. Knee to the nose as exhale, shift the weight forward, touch. Circle the knee, open hips as inhale. Stay or flip into your wild leg. Ball of the right foot behind you. Chest up, ground the left foot down. Sweep the right bicep by the ear, maybe touching the fingertips down to the mat. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Hands down, keep the right leg up. Bend the knees, open the hips as exhale. Left heel up high, heel. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold for three, two, one. Press and lunge one more time. You know what this pose is. Stretch your arms up. Set it up properly, square dips. Just one more breath in the press and lunge. As you exhale, open up, warrior two. Spin the left heel down, spread the arms apart, right hand forward, left hand back. Now keep the right knee bent, right thigh bicep parallel to the floor. Spine tree in the center. Look forward towards the right hand, lean forward, flip the right palm heel. Reverse the warrior as you exhale. Left hand to the back leg, sweep the right bicep by the heel, lean back, arch back, stretch back further. One more deep breath, reach back more in heel. As exhale, come back to your warrior two, spread arms out wide. Deep breath in heel, exhale, support the side angle, place right forearm on the right thigh, sweep the left bicep by the heel, roll the left shoulder back. If you can deepen the pose, place the right hand inside right foot. But try not to collapse on the right hand. Instead of lifting from the chest, roll the left shoulder back, straighten the left hand, press down firmly to the left foot, lean back. One more deep breath. Now nothing changes, look down to the right foot, straighten the right leg. Three Kanasana. Now if the right leg cannot be straightened, with the hands on the mat, place the hands on the shins. You can also walk the left foot in one step if you like, to lift up slightly higher, keep the left bicep by the ear, spin the left shoulder back, hold it here, one more deep breath. Now as you exhale, left hand on the left hip. Look down towards the right foot, slowly make your way to half moon pose. Crawl the right fingertips forward, slowly shift the weight to right leg, foot the left leg up. Now left hand, peel the left hip open, flex the left toes to the left side of the room. Once you're ready, extend the left hand up to the sling, half move. So you can lift the left leg up higher. 
Hold it here. Now listen carefully. Bend the left knee to your chest. So I'm going to switch the angle so you can see what I'm doing. Bend the left knee to your chest. Then look forward. Left hand, open the left knee up to the side. Option one, stay. Option two, peace fingers, grab the left big toe and kick the left leg towards the left. Some of you, if you are on my Instagram, you know this is a pose. Now challenge your balance, look down, maybe bring the right thumb to the heart center. Maybe palms together just for fun. If not, keep holding to the right knee or the right toes. Look forward, three, two, one. Very nice, feet together. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale to rise, palm stretch. Knee in back, arch back into a back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale, fold, step or hop back, flow through any vinyasa of your choice. If you're tired, you can always keep a vinyasa. All of us will need in, down, both facing down. Now take three breaths here. If you need a quick water break, go ahead. Otherwise, lower down the breath. Keeping a ujjayi breath. Deep breath in. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale two. One more deep breath in. Full breath out. Feet together, heels up high, soften the knees, look forward, step or hop forward. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, palm stretch. Lean back, arch back. Hands in front of the chest. Samasiddhi. Catch your breath. One deep breath in. Full breath out. Everything on the left side this time. Inhale, reach arms up. Lean back, arch back. Exhale, bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana to your forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale to fold. Now step left leg back. Lower the left knee down. Low lunge. Anjanasana. Stretch your arms up and heel. Reach up, lean back. If you want to open the hips, you need to bend the right knee more. Press the front of the left thigh down, stretch your arms up and back. Feel the hip flexor open, hold it here. One more deep breath, chest up and heel. Hold the breath, hands down, step back to your plank pose. Option to hold your plank or one chaturanga as you exhale. Push up to high plank and heel. Now your choice of vinyasa, chaturanga or knees chest shift for all of us as you exhale. Inhale to up double cobra. Exhale to press back, down, with facing down, one breath in, full breath up. Feet together, heels up high, left leg up, inhale, three leg dog. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward to touch and hold for three, two, one. Step left foot forward, right knee down, no lunge, arm down your slow, stretch your arms up, inhale, reach up, lean back. Same thing, keep the left knee bent, press the front of the right hip down. Chest up, arms back more. One more breath, heel. Hands down, set the right foot forward. Forward fold, Uttanasana as you exhale. Inhale to rise, palm stretch. Lean back, arch front to your back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine, heel. Exhale to fold. Now step your right leg back. Lower the right knee down. Anjanasana, stretch your arms up, look forward. As you exhale, twist to your right side, left hand forward, right hand back. Reverse right hand to the back leg, sweep left bicep out of here, lean back, arch back. Now stay here again, bend the left knee, pull the right fingertips down, close into the right ankle and stretch the left hand back more. Hold it here. One more deep breath, kneel. As you exhale, place the left hand inside left foot, flatten the palm, sweep the right bicep out of here, roll the right shoulder back. Spin the right ribcage up to the ceiling. Hold it here for one more deep breath. Back to your low lunge, look forward. Inhale, stretch arms up. Now grab your elbows each other, the other four arms on top if you can remember. Then crawl the right finger pads down, closer towards the shoulders. Push your head into the forearms, lean back. Now think of squeezing to the shoulder blades. Feel the stretch from the armpit to the elbow as you lean back. Chest up. One more deep breath. As you exhale, hands down. Now kick the right leg up to your three legged dog. Stretch it up high, point the left toes up to the ceiling as you inhale. Exhale, knee to the left tricep, bring it up high to touch. Inhale, kick the left leg up, three legged dog. 
Knee to the nose, exhale to touch. Inhale, keep the left leg up, three legged dog. Knee to the right tricep, touch, pull it up high. Now straighten the left leg out to the right, spin the inner right foot down, stretch the right hand up to the ceiling, reverse side plank. Push down, hips up high. Sit the right bicep out of here, make this a back bend, lean back further. Shine the right ribcage up to the ceiling. One more deep breath, inhale. Hands down as exhale. Inhale to keep the left leg up. Bend the knees, open the hips to your exhale. Now right heel up high, inhale. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold for three, two, one. Step left foot forward, press and lunge, inhale to rise. Bend the left knee, sit the hips down low. Squeeze the right knee, can nice and tight. Now chest up high, inhale. Lean back as exhale. Open the chest, strong heart. Keep the back leg strong. Keep the right heel lifted. Hold it here. Strong legs. One more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Lean forward halfway. Resting warrior. Now belly not resting on the left thigh. Draw the belly in. Pull the liver in. Bicep out of here. One straight line from your fingers all the way to the right heel. Now hold it here. So we shift the weight to the left leg. Find your warrior three. Float up the right leg. Square the upper right hip down, squeeze the left knee, keep nice and tight, hold it here. Now bring the palms to heart center, stand all the way up. Come to the top of the mat. Again, if you're looking at me from the front, it looks like this, looks like this. Open the right knee up towards the right side. Now pause here, see so you can bring the right knee high up towards the right shoulder. Hips open, in the thigh strength as well. It will help with our pose later, you know what pose that is. One more deep breath. Now feet together, forward fold as exhale, all the way down. Inhale to rise, palm stretch, lean back, arch back into your back bend. Exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale to fold, now step a hop back to your chaturanga or knee stretch in. Inhale to our double cobra, you can pause here, go back to your chaturanga or knee stretch in if you like. Push up the high plank and heel. Everyone to press back. Down with facing dog. Catch your breath. Now you know what to do if you need a break. You can always choose to skip a vinyasa. Come straight to your down with facing dog. Together, let's take one deep inhale. Full breath out. Exhale. Feet together. Heels up high. Left leg up. Three little dog inhale. Knee to the nose. Exhale. Shift the weight forward. Touch. Now circle the knee, open the hips as inhale. Knee to the nose, exhale to touch and hold. Or three legged chaturanga, inhale, bend the elbows, straighten the left leg back. Knee to the nose, exhale, touch and hold for three, two, one. Crescent lunge, step left foot forward, inhale to rise. Bend the left knee, set up a crescent lunge. You know what this pose is, set that up properly, half the ribcage in. Now three times, straighten the left leg, inhale. Bend the left knee, exhale to your crescent lunge. Inhale to straighten the left leg. Exhale to bend, crescent lunge. One more time, inhale to straighten. Exhale to bend, sink the hips down low, hold it here. Now freeze the left leg, deep breath, kneel. As you exhale, lower only the right knee, hold it one inch off the mat, not touching the mat at all. Inhale, only straighten the right leg. Exhale to bend the right knee. One more time, inhale, only the straighten the right leg. Exhale, bend and hop on the knee one inch off the mat, freeze there. Left heel off the mat. Now bend the left knee, left thigh parallel to the floor, chest up high, heel, lean back, exhale. I don't know about your, your legs, but my legs are shaking. Hold it here, lean back. One more deep breath. Good strength building, back to your present lunge. Hold it here. As exhale, lean forward, resting warrior. Same thing, belly away from the left thigh. Now palms to the heart center, as in heel. Twist to your left, exhale, hook, right elbow, outside the left thigh. Bring the thumbs to the heart. Spin the left shoulder back, neck long, shoulders away from the ears. One more deep breath. Now look down, keep the twist, step the right foot forward to your chair twist. Both knees in one line, sit the hips down low, spin the chest up towards the ceiling, roll the right left shoulder back. Chair pose, Utkatasana, inhale. Exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, rise, palm stretch. Lean back, arch back into your back bend. 
Now exhale, bow forward all the way down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Hop, lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale the bow, step or hop back. Float through your vinyasa. Chaturanga on each chest chin. Inhale to up double cobra if you like. Go back to Chaturanga on each chest chin again. Push up high plank heel. Press back, down, foot facing dog. Exhale. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Now feet together, heels up high. Left leg stretch up, three legged dog as inhale. Knee to the nose as exhale, shift the weight forward to touch. Circle the knee, open the hips. Now option to stay here or flip into your wild thing. Ball of the left foot behind you. Chest up, left bicep by the ear, keep the right foot grounded. Maybe touch your left fingertips now. Hold it here. One more deep breath, inhale. As exhale, left hand down. Inhale to keep the left leg up, bend the knees, open the hips as exhale. Right heel up high, heel. Knee to the nose, exhale, shift the weight forward, touch and hold it here, or three little child round down here. Knee to the nose, hold it, three, two, one step, left foot forward, press and lunge, not too long, stretch your arms up high, bend left knee, sit him down low. Deep bend the press and lunge, inhale, open up, four and two. Skin the right heel down, bend the left knee, spread arms up wide, left hand forward, right hand back. Now spine is straight in the center, bend the left knee more, hold it. Look towards the left hand, lean forward, flip the left palm and heel, reverse warrior exhale. Right hand to the back leg, sweep left bicep by the heel, lean back, arch back, stretch left hand back. Try not to rest so much weight on the right fingers. Pull it down, stretch left hand back, left knee bent. One more deep breath. Back to your warrior two, inhale. Now support inside anchor, exhale, place left ball arm on the left thigh, sweep the right bicep by the heel, spin the right shoulder. Option to stay here or deepen the hips opening by placing the left hand down, extend the side angle pose. Roll the right shoulder back. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Now keep the body like this. Look down, straighten the left leg. If the left leg cannot be straightened with the fingers on the mat, you can place the hands on the shin, come into your trikonasana triangle pose. Now instead of collapsing the weight on the left hand, keep lifting up. Roll the right shoulder back. Squeeze the knee tight, pull the straight. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Now look down to the left foot, right hand on the right hip. Slowly make your way to your half moon pose. Soften the left knee. Crawl the left fingertips forward, float the right leg up. Now use the right hand to peel the right hip open. Flex the right toes towards the right side of the room. Make sure the left leg is straight. If not, you can use a block. Place it underneath the left hand. Once you're ready, extend right hand up to the sling, lift the right leg up higher, half moon pose. Now same half moon pose, I'm going to come over you to you to show you the same thing. Now look forward slightly, bend right knee into the chest. Right hand, grab the right knee from the front, open it out to the side, this is option one. Option two, please fingers, grip the right big toe and extend the right leg out to the side. Now look down towards the left hand and tips here, you can float the left hand off the mat. Left down to the heart center. Then maybe palms together. Now do what you can. If not, just hold onto the knee. Learn to work with the breath. Three. Right leg up higher. Two. And one. Feet together. Good job. Forward fold as exhale. Inhale to rise. Palm stretch. Lean back. Arch back into back bend. Exhale. Bow forward all the way down. Uttanasana. Forward fold. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale the fold. Now step or hop back. Flow through vinyasa of your choice. If you have tired, skip up vinyasa. And just come straight to your downward facing dog. Now play three breaths in the down dog to reset. Through the nose as inhale. Open mouth, side out. Exhale. Through the nose, inhale. Open mouth, side out. Exhale. One more deep breath, heel. Open the mouth, side up, exhale. Now feet together, heels up high, look forward, bend the knees. Step or hop outside the hands to the top of the mat. Come into Malasana, squat down. I'm going to come to you. Hope everyone else is doing fine. Squat down, hips down. 
palms in the heart center. Now push the knee back, lifting from the chest. Bring the chest to the thumbs. Tailbone points down, chest lift. Try not to slouch here. So if you look at me from the side, it should not be around the back. Chest lift, roll the shoulders back, hold it here. Quick sip of water if you need to. Otherwise, find the asana, palms to the heart center, push the knees apart. Now, side forward, uh, stretch, right hand down. Please right palm from knee to the mat. Make sure the right tricep stays inside the right knee, then stretch your left hand up. Option to go to a half bind, left hand reach back of the inner right thigh, or full bind. Right hand can reach behind to grab the right left wrist. So I'll show you from the back. It looks like this. If you can grab the wrist, go ahead. Then pull, straighten the arms, chest lift, roll the left shoulder back. Gaze up to the ceiling. One more deep breath. And as I exhale, gently release, palms to the heart center. Come back to your molasana. Now left hand down, right hand reach up. If you can't do everything, it doesn't matter. Maybe just half thigh today. Right hand reach back of the inner left thigh, or maybe just simple twist. Otherwise, if you can go for a full bind, go ahead. Grabbing the fingers, grabbing the wrist, straighten the right hand as best as you can. Roll the right shoulder back. Now push your right knee away from you. Hold it here. One more deep breath. Bring your palms to the heart center. Come to Malasana. Now hands down to the mat, straighten the legs forward, fold as you exhale. Half lift, lengthen the spine heel. Exhale the fold, step a hop back, blow through vinyasa for choice. If you're tired again, come back to down dog, that's where we meet. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Now last short sequence, I promise you, walk the hands over towards the feet. Come to the back of the mat this time. Now I'm turning to face you at the back of the mat. So come to forward fold at the back of the mat. Hands on the hips, bending knees softly, roll the shoulders back, rise all the way up. Stand at the back of the mat. Hope everyone else is doing good. Now figure four, chair. So bend the right knee, stack the right ankle on top of the left knee. Bend the left knee, sit the, sit the hips down low. Now flex the right foot. Push your right knee down, stretch your arms up. You feel the hip stretch, the glutes. Sit the hips down low, hold it here. Now option one, left hand, oh, sorry, left hand on the left hip. Option one, right hand, grab the right knee. Stand all the way up like what we did earlier, like this. Option two, you can go further. Peace fingers, grab the big toes. And stretch one leg out towards the side. Now roll the right shoulder back. Any option will do. Maybe stretch left hand towards the left side. Now last option, fall forward. Do what you can again, same thing. Now this is the same pose as what we did earlier, but a different entry. See whether this is easier for you. Maybe left thumb to our center. Again, maybe palms together. Hips, inner thighs, core strength, all working here. Three, two, one, feet together, forward fold as you exhale. Hands on the hips, soften the knees, roll yourself back up. One more side to go, we have two sides. Now figure four. Stack the left ankle on top of the right knee, flex the right left foot, bend the right knee, sit the hips down low, stretch arms up high. Hold it here. Now keep pushing the left knee down, flex the left foot first. Bicep body, sit down lower. Right hand on the right hip. Now you know your option. Left hand can grab the left knee to stand up or please fingers grab the big toes to stand up. Now make sure you level the shoulders by pulling the left shoulder back. Maybe extend the left leg. Your choice. It's your practice. Doesn't matter what the others are doing. Stretch right hand out to the right if you like. Then keep looking forward. Fall forward halfway. If not, just stay standing. So I give you a lot of options and the steps are progressive. Doesn't matter. Listen to the body. Right hand to the heart center. Maybe both. Palms to the heart center. Hold it there. Left leg up. Three, two, one. Feet together. Forward fold. Good job. Half lift. Lengthen the spine. Now look forward. Walk the hands forward. Top of the mat. Come into your plank pose. Option to stay here or flow through your vinyasa. Chaturanga. On this chest chin. Inhale to up dog or cobra. Exhale, press back. 
down with these up. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Now plank in heel. Pause, strengthen me. Just last part. Stay with me. You can do this. Squeeze me. Can nice and tight. A lot of challenges. Some like 10 minutes challenge for Henry. You should be able to hold this for 10 minutes, right? Squeeze. Hold it here. Now option one, just stay here. If you're tired, you can lower the knees down. Otherwise, float the right foot off mat. Last option, come to the left in the pads. Maybe float the left hand off the mat. Keep the hips, hips level and line the shoulders. Hold it for three, two, one. Find a plank, left hand down, right toes down. Stay or left foot off the mat. Come to the right finger pads and maybe float the right hand off the mat. Hold it. Three. Hold it there. Two. And one. Plank pose. Hold it there. Lower the forearms down. Forearm plank. Last push, I promise you. Shoulders on top of the elbows. Squeeze in the knee can dance and tight. Draw the belly in. Now, if you wish to challenge yourself a little bit more, roll to your tippy toes. Eventually, one day, only your big toes touching the mat. Hold it here. Squeeze the belly. Look forward slightly, but push into the forearms. Protract the shoulders. For the last five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Good job. Now turn around, lie down on your back. Slowing down from here. Now bend both knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Rock side to side, side to side. Massage the back. Hope everyone else is doing fine. Challenge yourself. Hope you feel good now. Now pause in the center. Bring your forehead to touch your knee. Crunch, squeeze in, call in like a little ball, hold it there. Now stretch your hands forward. Hands by the side of the feet. Stretch it up high. Get the feet on the outside. Open the feet down wide into your happy baby. Lower the head down. Rock side to side, side to side. Press the hips down, tuck the chin in slightly. Then bend the knees to your chest again. Stretch your arms out to the side. Drop the knees to the left, look to the right side. If you wish to eager the legs, you can cross the right thigh over the left. Spine and twist. Bring the knees to the left, look towards the right side. Now make sure you ground the right shoulder blade down to the mat. Knees should be in line, the hips or higher up towards the chest. Because you want to twist the whole torso, not just the legs, not just the hips. Slow down the breath. One more deep breath. Back to the center. Now switch to the other side. If you eager the legs up here, this time cross the left thigh over the right. Move the hips slightly to the left, drop the knees to the right. Look towards the left. Left shoulder blade down to the mat. Slowing down the breath, stay with the breath. Deep breath in and out through the nose. Now back to the center. Give yourself one more nice big hug like what we did earlier. Grab the elbows each other. Touch forehead to the knee. One more time. Crunch it. Hold it here. Now straighten the arms forward. Grab the feet to the outside. Happy baby. One more time. Press the hips down. Tuck the chin in. Now keep the left leg in the happy baby. So it's a half happy baby. Right hand reach inside right foot and straighten one right leg. So it's like you're trying to touch your right toes towards the mat on the floor, just beside your right ear. So you feel the hamstring and the inner thigh stretch at the same time, opening the hips as you press the hips down low, pull into the left hand. One more deep breath. Now bring your right leg back to a half heavy baby, grab from the outside of the right foot. Left hand reach inside the left foot. Then slowly straighten the left leg as best as you can. Keep pressing the hips down. See if you can touch your toes down towards the mat. Or the floor beside your left ear. Keep pressing the hips down. 
Squeeze left knee camera as in tight. Pull into right hand at the same time. Hold it for three. For two. And one. Now back to happy baby. Grab the feet from the outside. Fold into the hands. Tuck the chin in slightly. Then bring a big toes together to touch. Keep the knees wide. Interlace the fingers. Then slowly float the forehead to touch the big toes. Now keep opening the knees out to the side. Press the hips down. Now go to where you can hold. You can bring the feet behind the head. You can go ahead. Just option. So play around the hips, inner thighs more open. See if you can bring it behind. You can bring it behind. Hook at the ankles, maybe reach your hands back, interlace fingers. Just optional, do what you can. Hold it here. Otherwise, you can always stay in a happy baby. For the last three, two, and one. Now gently release your final shavasana. Straighten the legs out towards the side of the mat. Allow the hands fall out from the side. Closing your eyes, stay with a deep breath. Deep breath in and out through the nose. Feeling the belly rises, belly falls. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Letting go of a jai breath. Finding the stillness. Allowing the body to soften. Stay in the Shavasana. We will complete the practice together in Shavasana today. A few more minutes here. A few more breaths, sorry. How's everyone doing? Okay, how's the practice? Thank you very much. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks, Phyllis. Thank you. Thanks, Joanne. Thanks, JP. Thanks, Pat. You're here today. Wow. Thank you, Arun, as well. Thanks, Fong. Thank you, everyone else, for joining me today. So, today we focus on the hips. Your hips should be nice and open right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. So remember to stay healthy during this period of time. Try to keep a social distance by keeping fit, staying active. Remember to take care of your health. If you have any questions or comments, same thing, you can always send the comments or a message to Pure Yoga Singapore. Stay tuned on our channel. We have more things coming up. 6 p.m. we have Hatha One with Miriam. So stay tuned if you wish to practice more. Stay for another half an hour. Otherwise, have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you again Monday, Yin Yang, and next week as per usual. See you again. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your practice with me.